hello everyone in this video you will learn that how to make handwriting animation in easy way so let's start this tutorial press 7 for top view then press shift a under curve select bezier curve now switch to edit mode then press x and delete vertices now from this tool panel select here draw tool then write any word which you want like this then expand this draw curve option and also change this error value like this now we have to also clean this text so select here selection tools then delete extra part like this now this is first word for demonstration i just duplicate it on x axis now we need to add a pen so press shift a under mesh select cylinder now switch to edit mode then press s then shift z to scale on z axis like this now press shift z and select this vertices then press e then z to extrude on z axis now press s to scale it now switch to edit mode then press shift s and select here cursor to select it now switch to object mode by pressing tab select this then right click and select origin to 3d cursor now press alt g for clear location then press shift s and select here cursor to world origin select this cylinder then click on this constant property then click on this arrow and select here follow part now we have to animate this object constraint so make sure you are at first keyframe then keep mouse cursor on this icon then press i to insert keyframe now and now we have to also animate this offset value so click on this icon to add keyframe now also turn on this fix position under this target select bezier curve now when you change this factor value you can see that is this is following part click on this icon to add keyframe now change keyframe value that is 100 keep mouse cursor on this icon then press i to insert keyframe then change offset value that is 100 then click on this icon now jump to next keyframe then uh, disable this then press i to insert keyframe now again click on this arrow and select here follow path under this target select the major curve one then enable this fixed position option and when you change this factor value you can see that this is animating so first we need to animate this constant so jump to first keyframe then disable this second constant then press i to insert keyframe 
now also click on this icon to insert keyframe now switch now jump on 100 keyframe now click here then keep mouse cursor here then press i to insert keyframe now jump to next keyframe now enable this constraint then press i to insert keyframe now again click on this icon icon to insert keyframe now change 201 that is 100 more keyframe for this animation now change this offset value 1 now click on this icon to insert keyframe now press t and select here linear now you can see that is this is working well okay now we have to give its thickness so select this first word then click on this object data properties under this part animation first expand also this geometry option and change its depth value from bevel option that is 0.1 okay or you can increase whatever you want now you can see here option that is start and end mapping so expand this and just make end value 0 then click on this icon to insert keyframe now jump on 100 keyframe then increase its end value that is 1 and also add keyframe here now when you press spacebar that you can see this is not working well so from this mapping option select here segments and also select here segments now press t and select here linear also select this then press t on this timeline window and select here linear we have to experiment with this mapping option select this then press t on this timeline window and select here linear change this mapping well option that is segments now you can see that this is working properly now select this then under this bevel option change its value that is 0 0.1 then change its and keyframe value that is 0 then click on this icon then also again add keyframe here jump to next keyframe that is 1 and enable here insert keyframe now change 201 keyframe value change here 0 then insert keyframe then change keyframe value that is 201 and increase its end value that is 1 and insert here keyframe then press T and select here linear change and mapping option that is segments and also change here segments now you can see that this is following well 
Thanks for watching this video. Leave your comments and subscribe this channel.